know with us. I mean, you're going to be in the background, is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> but let's go ahead and start. <clears throat> go ahead and bring your feet about shoulder distance. Today, yoga for athletes. So those of you tuning in for the yoga, we stream live with the yoga uh, Malibu half marathon crew. So today we're going to do some um, hip, a little hip focus, hips and hamstrings. Um, maybe we'll get to a little bit of calves also too. So let's start with the feet about shoulder distance. Make sure that sound looks good. Palms together, eyes closed. Take a couple breaths in and out of the nose. Dropping the shoulders down, <clears throat> not the top of the head, float up. Breath smooth. Oh. Set your intention, so intention to release some stress, heal, strengthen, whatever, whatever that means for you to add a deeper meaning to your breath and your movements. Good, and then drop the head over to the left side. Nice, easy neck stretch on one side. And then switch sides, same thing. Good, drop the arms from there, make a few circles, one direction. Oh, snap, crackle, pop in my neck. <laughs> Switch directions. Good, back to the center. Some shoulder rolls, forward and back, forward and back. And then back and forward, <clears throat> back and forward. Good, and then arms up from there, interlace fingers, turn the palms up to the ceiling, straighten the arms. Bring the arms back by the shoulders, breathe. And just isolating the shoulders a little bit here. So lower ribs kind of pulled down slightly. And if that brings the arms forward, you just lean into that resistance and breathe. Good. And then fold over to one side. Nice, easy side stretch. Breathe. Good. And then flip it. Other side. Same thing. Good, and then back to the center. Lean back, take a big inhale, and then fold all the way down forward. As you exhale, hang forward here, breathe. Just hanging forward, breathing in and out of the nose. Good, smooth, even breaths. You can <clears throat> bend the knees slightly, definitely breathe. Clasp the hands back behind you, interlace the fingertips, stretching the shoulders. Good, one more breath. 
and then release the arms. Let's take the feet wider. So I'll turn to the side here, but you can take your feet wider than the mat there, Elena. And then you're gonna bend over to the right side. So kind of sink over to the right there, stretching the inner thigh on the left and breathe and stretch. And then switch it, same thing, other side. Pulled out all my ski gear from last year. Looks like I'm going skiing tomorrow. <laughs> For a few days, a little midweek ski trip. I'm excited about. Go ahead now, back over to the other side. Same thing. Excuse me. Good, and then this time, go ahead and lengthen the upper body, turn and twist up. So you take the right arm up. Good, Just keep the hip stretch if you can. Just a little spinal twist. Ah, good, and then take that arm, wrap it around the back. Lengthen the upper body, twist and turn up and breathe. One more breath. Good. Release that all the way to the other side. So bend the left leg, sink down, sink over. Breathing. Once you're in that hip stretch for a moment or two, support the upper body, lengthen the spine, twist and turn. Dropping the arm back behind you, lengthen the torso, twist up and breathe. Good. One more breath, twist. And then just to go into the hips a little bit deeper, you're gonna go back to the first side here, but you're gonna come down onto your toes. As you come down onto the toes, kind of lean toward the front foot there. A little deep stretch in the hamstrings. And then switch back. So other side, same thing. You can't get into this yoga studio unless you're wearing all black. <laughs> all right, switch sides. Just notice that. <clears throat> Good, and then back again, other side. Now we gonna go a little bit side to side here. So just protect the knees, obviously, and hips. At first, you kind of move a little bit side to side, warming up the hip joints. And then if you feel a bit more comfortable then you can balance here right so you could balance and go back and forth side to side just make sure that's okay on your knees on your hips not to put any strain anywhere that's why the support is always welcome the lower the hips are the deeper the stretch is back and forth side to side a few more times One more on each side. All right, and then straighten both legs and just hang forward. Stretch. Breathe. And when you're here, taking kind of a wide-legged forward fold, scoot the hips back if you can. So if you scoot the hips back a little bit and drop the head down and breathe. Uh, just wanna get it more into the hamstrings a bit. So today, hip focus, 
and kind of posterior backside of the legs. Now go ahead and let's step to the front of the mat. Stepping to the front of the mat, bend the knees slightly, roll your way up, abdomen really strong, rolling all the way up. Take a nice big inhale, lift the arms way up, fold all the way down forward as you exhale. Extend that spine. As you inhale, look forward, step back to plank, top of a push up. Hold it here, breathe. My shoulder saga <laughs> seems to be healing, seems to be getting better. Still a little tender, but all these modifications have been helping. Let's do five times to chaturanga, so lower halfway. I'm gonna kinda do a little baby chaturanga <laughs> and then back up lower. Just don't wanna strain it. Push up five times, so lower again. Push up, two more, push up. Good news is it hasn't gotten any worse. Uh, it is getting better. Good, and then all the way to the mat. So you can drop the knees and then all the way to the mat, point the toes back. Let's take a nice gentle cobra pose. So extend that spine forward and up and drop the chin, back of the neck is long. Let's do a little neck stretch again. Turn the head to the left side, a little neck stretch. Good, and back over to the right, the same thing. Good, and back to the center. One more inhale, lift up a little taller. Child's pose on the exhale. Good, downward facing dog from there. Come on up, tuck the toes. Down dog, take a moment, bend the left leg, push the right heel down, stretch it. So first, you're just dropping the heel and getting the big stretch, kind of like the mm, less specific, more sort of mass stretch. And then switch sides, same thing. We're gonna come back to this and I just want you to understand the difference between isolating like the lower part of the leg, calf, Achilles, and then the upper part of the leg, the hamstring. But first, I'm just gonna drop into the stretch a bit. Good. Straightening both legs from there, come up on the toes, walk softly to the hands. And get there, extend the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale, all the way up, nice big inhale, hands to the heart, exhale, arms up, inhale, folding down forward, exhale, extend the spine as you inhale, step back or hop back, vinyasa, lower down, upward facing dog, or cobra, and then downward facing dog. Pause there, breathe, fingers spread, palms flat, lift the tailbone, breath smooth. Good, up on the toes again, walk or hop. Lengthen the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands to the heart, exhale. We'll do two more, arms up, inhale. Fold down, exhale. One more, halfway up, inhale. Step or hop back, exhale. Vinyasa, easy or more challenging if you want. Feel it out for your own practice there. Right from here, take the right leg up behind you. And this time, drop the left heel down. Keep the hips square for the moment. But bend your left leg a little bit. So as you just kind of a little micro bend in that left leg, the one that's on the floor, I want you to see if you can lift the right leg a little bit more and stretch the calf. So you're bending at the ankle. To get that micro bend in the knee, you bend your knee, obviously, but then you're also going to bend the ankle a little bit. 
And maybe you'll feel a little stretch in the Achilles, a little stretch in the lower calf. Lift the right leg a little bit more. Maybe you start to straighten the leg with the heel down. All right, maybe get a little bit more hamstrings. Extend the shoulders. And then shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose, the abdomen strong. Hold it. Two, three, and then lift it back and up. And then forward knee to your left side. Cross the body. Hold it. One, two, three, and then lift it. Good. And then forward up to your right side. Hold it. One, two, three, and lift it. And all the way forward to the hands. Pause here, stay here, and then as you're ready, straighten the front leg, flex the foot, and then exhale, bend the knee. So we did this Saturday, straighten the leg, we're gonna do 17 times, <laughs> bend the knee. Five like this, straighten and bend. Two more, straighten, bend, straighten, and bend. And then we do uh, external rotation. So external rotation, you go to the outside of the heel, as you straighten the leg and then bend the knee. So it's the same kind of movement, but you just feel it external rotation on the outside of the heel a bit more. Bend the knee. Three more like that. External rotation. Bend the knee. External rotation. Bend the knee. One more. External rotation. Bend the knee. Now internal rotation. So you go inside of the heel. You got to move your hips to the right a little bit, and then you feel it more inside of the hamstring. Four more like that. Internal rotation. Bend the knee. This is the tighter area for me. Internal rotation, but it does open up the hamstrings a bit more. Oh, internal rotation. Internal rotation. Good. And then two more just straight down the center. Hopefully noticing a bit difference. There we go. Good. And then warrior one. Turn the back foot. Just one big inhale. Warrior one. Reach up and then hands down to the floor. Take the leg back. Vinyasa, your choice on how deep you want to go. So you can go to Chaturanga and take a more vigorous one or all the way to the mat. So then from here, left leg up behind you. First, you keep that right leg straight as you sink the heel down and then bend the knee just slightly. Just that little micro bend. See if you can find a deeper stretch in the calf and the Achilles. Lift the tailbone a little bit, lift the left leg up a little bit, extend the shoulders, optimize the stretch on the back of that right leg. Keep breathing in and out of your nose if you can. Good. One more inhale, and then shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose, abdomen strong, hold it. Two, three, and then lift it. Forward knee to your right side. Let's twist and squeeze. Two, three, and lift it. And over to your left side. Hold it. Two, three, lift it. All the way forward. Stay there. And then 17 times. Straighten the front leg, flex the foot, and bend the knee and drop the hips. Keep that going. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, it's three, inhale, exhale, one more like that, inhale, exhale, and then external rotation as you straighten the leg, externally rotate the leg, bend the knee, externally rotate the leg, bend the knee, externally rotate the leg, bend the knee, two more like that. One more. Good, then internal rotation. Internally rotate the leg and bend the knee. Internally rotate the leg, bend the knee. Internal rotation, bend the knee. One more. Good. Now two more times down the middle. Straighten and bend and straighten. Good, and bend. And then warrior one, turn the back foot. And then one inhale, lift up. Hands down, take the leg back. Vinyasa lower. Upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. 
hold it here, breathe. Just hopefully a little bit now, feel it in the back of your legs. So legs slightly bend, extend the shoulders, lift the tailbone, and then gently start working the back of the legs straight. So downward facing dog can become a bigger hamstring stretch if you want it to be. Keep breathing. Good. And then up on the toes when you're ready, walk or hop forward. Extend that spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms, inhale. Let's hold 30 seconds. And we'll add a twist, why not? Palms together, left elbow outside. The right knee, lengthen the upper body, twist the spine, lengthen the torso. Oh, we did some of this on Saturday too, but we're not gonna go too deep today, but lengthen and turn and breathe. Good, now back to chair, inhale, switch sides. Lengthen and twist and breathe. Good, one more breath. And then back to chair, inhale. Stand, hands together at the heart. Exhale, I'm just curious how long that takes. 45 seconds. <laughs> Longer than 30. Longer than 30 seconds, that's good. I don't mind that. All right, now we'll link it together, so we'll do sun salutation B. You can turn that off if much you want that on, up to you. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> Chair pose, inhale. Fold down as you exhale. Extend the spine as you inhale. Step back or hop back as you exhale. Vinyasa. Upward facing dog or cobra. Down dog, right side first. Take the leg up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up, inhale. Hands down, leg back. Vinyasa. Good. Left side, take the leg up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up, inhale. Hands down, take the leg back. Good, lower, up, and down. Hold, a few breaths. But again, make your down dog a little bit more active. Lifting the tailbone, extending the shoulders, breathing deeply. Good, up on the toes again. Walk or hop forward. Extending that spine as you inhale, folding as you exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms, inhale. Stand, hands together at the heart, exhale. Let's do a few more rounds like that for our warm up today. Chair pose, inhale, fold, exhale. Extend the spine, inhale, step or hop back as you exhale. Vinyasa, lower. Right side, take the leg up, bring it forward. Warrior one, inhale. Hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Back, left side, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach. Hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Downward facing dog, hold and breathe. And one more breath. Okay, up on the toes again. Walk or hop forward. Extend that spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms, and then stand, hands together at the heart. Exhale, big full breath, two more rounds. Back to chair when you're ready. Inhale, fold as you exhale. 
halfway up as you inhale. Step back or jump back as you exhale. Vinyasa, lower. Gentle cobra or upward facing dog. And then down dog, right leg. First, take it up. Bring it forward. Deep bend in that front leg. Reach up, warrior one. Hands down, leg back. Abdomen strong, lower. Upward facing dog. Down dog, left side. Take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach. Hands down, leg back, lower. Up and back, good. Downward facing dog, hold and breathe. Good. And then up on the toes again, one more time. Walk or hop forward. Lengthen as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose, inhale, stand, hands to the heart, exhale, big full breath. Good, back to chair, inhale, fold down as you exhale. Extend that spine as you inhale. Step back or jump back as you exhale. Vinyasa, lower. Up and back. Right side, take the leg up. Bring it forward. Warrior one, reach. Hands down, leg back. Vinyasa. Good, last time through this here. Left side, take it up. Bring it forward. Warrior one, hands down, leg back, lower, and back, downward facing dog, very nice, hold and breathe, just one a couple extra breaths here by extending the shoulders, lifting the tailbone, pressing the thighs back, heels down, so optimizing the stretch in the back finding opposing action in the back of the legs there. If you can, stretching out those hamstrings and calves. Good, and then up on the toes when you're ready, walk softly to the hands. Take the feet apart, about shoulder distance, extend the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Good, so we're gonna go down into Malasana, squat from here. Crack, crack, crack. So uh, if you have to have your uh, feet up on the toes, that's totally fine. If you have to have the feet pointed out, that's also fine. Eventually, if you can and your body allows, the feet are kind of somewhat straight-ish. And before, so now a little bit more into the hips for a moment, but also ankle flexion. So I want you to kind of rock a little bit back and forth. So whether you're on your toes or not, I want you to see if you can feel a little bit more of a stretch. What we're gonna do with our rock is kind of rock a little bit side to side. So rock to the left leg, and rock toward the right. And the idea is to give a little bit of a press into the ankle, maybe get that ankle flexion a little deeper, calf stretching, flexibility there, breathing deep. Good. Good. So now just back to the center. Sit into the hips. Interlace all the fingers except the index fingers. Reach the arms forward and then reach the arms up. Stretch. <laughs> so upper back and shoulders here at the same time we're doing hips. A few breaths. Good. One more inhale. And then fold, clasp the hands back, interlace the fingertips, stretch the shoulders. Breathe. Small chance I might have been going too deep in my shoulders <laughs> during, I mean that one shoulder, the right shoulder. Release the arms now, come on back into your 
squat, same thing. And then again, just a couple times, say about three times, kind of lean into one side and then lean into the other side and then lean in and lean in and lean in. Good. And one more, lean. Good. And then interlace and then reach up. I had a young, young buck <laughs> in here the other day and we were working on um, some pistol squats actually because so, he had trouble on one side. One more inhale, left, and then fold. Clasp the hands back behind you, interlace the fingertips. He thought it was ankle flexion. And if it was ankle flexion, there's sort of three main possibilities that maybe it's tighter Achilles, low calf, calf. That would be two, <laughs> Achilles or calf. But then also it could be the bones of the ankles that are just stopping him from Going forward, he thought on one side. Go ahead now, release the arms, come down one more time. We're gonna do the same thing one more time. But as we, as we looked into it a little bit more deeply, it was really coming from his hips, probably glute, right? So he, he could go down pretty well on one leg. Um, we'll try it today as a fun little bonus. So uh, one side, so again, three times. Go one side, other side, other side, other side other side and other side good interlace all the fingers reach the arms up good one more whoa nice big inhale and then fold clasp the hands back interlace stretch Very good. Release the arms. Let's roll all the way back up. Abdomen strong. Slowly, slowly, slowly rolling up. So that's a lot of forward bending. So just to kind of release the spine a little bit, stand up tall, take the arms up. Nice big inhale. Hands together at the heart. Exhale. And let's just do a little bit of kind of resetting. So a little twist here, side to side. Knees bent slightly. Notice, excuse me, notice your spine. Make sure that you're not uh, hurting yourself. All right, good. A couple more. Two, and three, and four. Good. Now step to the front, palms together. Take a nice deep inhale, lift the arms up. Folding down forward as you exhale. Take a vinyasa halfway up. Inhale, step back as you exhale. Vinyasa, your choice and how and what version you want to do. Gentle in the spine and then downward facing dog pose. Right leg up right away. Take it up, bring it forward. Turn the back foot flat down, come up to warrior one and then push the leg straight. Hands to the waist, step the back foot closer. So this is, um, we go kind of four different uh, stages of this pose. So the first stage, you have to just choose an arm variation. It's either hands to the hips, mid middle one is um, arms back behind you grabbing the elbows, and then the third one is palms together behind you, reverse namaste, which for those of you that are looking through a lens, that's what that looks like. So from here, we're going to go halfway down first. So lifting up nice and tall. And then forward and come halfway down and breathe. And breathe. So halfway means halfway, not necessarily halfway geologically, geographically. No. What's the word? Geometrically speaking. <laughs> but uh, just halfway based on the sensation. So halfway, maybe up higher. It's really for the hamstrings here. And then after a couple breaths, you can go lower. So you can go 60%. 70, 80. I wouldn't, don't go to your max yet. We're going to get there. But let the leg kind of soften here and breathe. Lengthen that torso a bit more. Good. So now you're just going to release the arms. Wherever your arms are, Bring them to the floor or to your blocks. Pause. All right. 
And then what we're gonna do is bend the knee and I want you to extend the torso so that your lower ribs touch the thigh first. Then I want you to wrap your leg. So grab the elbows or triceps here, really wrap the leg with the leg bent, front leg is bent. So upper body connects to the thigh, then start to straighten the leg without releasing your upper body from the thigh. So if you're tight like me, most likely the leg is not gonna straighten. That's fine, you just wanna isolate the hamstring stretch here. Breathe, you could drop your head if you wanted, but most importantly, find that big, deep hamstring stretch and hold it, breathe. And using the breath to help you go a little deeper in the stretch. Good. Now release the wrap and the arms. You can pause for a moment so you can bend the leg. But now we're going to straighten the leg. So your upper body will come off. The thigh, straighten the leg. If you're more flexible, I want you to drop the upper body as low as you can and maybe even bring the hands back here and drop your head to the knee and breathe. Good. One more breath. All right. And then release that stretch. Take the leg back. Vinyasa. That leg should be nine inches longer than the other leg right now. <laughs> Lift up gently. That was a forward bend. So you want to be easy on your back when you go into this back bend. You want to be gentle and not force a big back bend after a big forward bend. And take a moment and just feel it out. So bend the left leg, push the right heel down, feel it. Should be a lot of space in there now relative to where we started. And then left side, take the leg up and bring it forward. Turn the back foot, come to warrior one. Push the leg straight, hands to the waist. Step the back foot closer, angle it forward. Three options with the arms, hands to the waist, Grab the elbows or reverse namaste from there. Breathe, lift up, take a big inhale. Fold down as you exhale. Breathe. Halfway, sorry, halfway first. <laughs> Your halfway, whatever that is. Good, and then maybe a little bit lower. Good. And you're 75, 80% here in this stretch. A few more breaths. Good. Release the arm variation from there. You can just pause, you can take a little break, but then bend the knee, extend your torso so that the lower ribs get onto that leg. And then lower down, wrap the uh, leg with the arms and then work that leg straight and breathe. Good, one more nice big breath. Give it a big stretch. And then release the arms. You can kind of pause for a moment. Then I want you to straighten that leg as much as possible. Lengthen the torso. Drop down and breathe.
One more breath. Very good. All right, let it go. Step the leg back, vinyasa. Gentle back bend again. And then downward facing dog. I keep looking at that clock thinking, it's not almost nine o'clock. <laughs> downward facing dog, pause, take a moment here. Bend the right leg, push the left heel down. Big stretch. And then up on the toes again, walk forward to the hands. You can walk about halfway forward. Extend the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Uh, chair pose, inhale, stand. So here's our little added bonus, kind of pistol squat situation. But first, um, really just for fun for the moment. And then we're gonna go into some hips to, to wind down. But first what I want you to do is have your feet shoulder distance to start. And then I want you to squat down. When I want you to squat down, I don't want you to lean the knees forward, I want you to move the hips back. So take the arms forward, start to move the hips back this way. How low can you go until the point where you feel like you're either gonna fall back or you can go all the way to the floor. So that's the idea, good. All right, come on back up. And now we just do the same exact thing with on one leg. So totally not a big deal. I don't know why everybody makes a big deal of this. Go ahead now, grab your right foot, <laughs> and then stand with that leg. All right. First standing here, then straightening. From here, just like you just did. Lower down, back, 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 and then rest, pause, <laughs> crash. As long as you smile when you crash. And then the tricky part, standing back up. <laughs> Ta-da! Exactly. <clears throat> All right, same thing, other side. Go ahead and take the arms up. And just the most important thing is you put in a little effort, see where you are, laugh a little bit, and then it makes life worth living. One of the things, one of the infinite things. Go ahead now, come on down, and this is always good to go to the other side to see. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See what worked and what didn't work. Good, and now coming back up. Almost. And then release. Not as pretty as the first side. <laughs> Shake out the legs. Let's go into some, some final hip moves. Arms up, inhale. Fold down, exhale. Extend the spine as you inhale. Step or hop back as you exhale. Vinyasa, lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. So I do want to do a little frog pose. So just so that, so let's go ahead. You guys can turn to the side if you want. I'm gonna actually turn my mat, but you don't have to just for camera purposes. You're gonna drop the knees down, take the knees wide, right? Yeah, you guys can do that. And we'll go about two minutes here in frog. So knees wide, you wanna get the knees as wide as you can. Good. And now push the hips back and breathe. Hmm. So weird, we went to brunch this weekend with Steve, my friend Steve, and um, we actually ate indoors. And it was like weird, I mean, you know, you, you walk in with a mask or whatever. But then you're sort of indoors and you're eating and it just feels kind of normal. It's, so it's like weirdly normal, you know? Like I'm chasing my kids around because they're not, they don't want to sit down. And <laughs> that was normal. <laughs> Liam is out of control. He literally will, there's no chance that guy is sitting down. No way. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good uh, question actually. Yeah, it's funny. Madison had, was on easily, I think we counted something like 18 flights before she was a year old. Liam has never been on a flight, and he's a year and a half. You know. <laughs> Good. 
Yeah, they fly for free before they're two. So we missed that whole thing. <laughs> He's gonna, you know, like, bam. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly, that's right. <clears throat> Sadly, though, we still don't, we don't think we're going to be able to go to Lauren's sister's wedding. Sadly. Such a bummer. She's, she's, she lives in Canada. My, my wife's from Montreal, and her sister's getting married, and they were supposed to get married in October, and then they moved it to May, and so they're still sort of, and Canada has really locked down. They're one of the worst, one of the strictest lockdowns in the world. And uh, you have to go there, you have to test before, test at the airport, stay in a government quarantine situation, f hotel with their food for three days, and then you have to quarantine for 14 more days. And so, I don't know, it's just, and she's Lauren's like, there's no chance we're going to be able to do this with two little kids. You can't, like, you can't, like, <laughs> in a hotel room for three days. And my friends, I have a couple of Chinese friends, and they, uh, they have to do 14 days in Beijing. Like, if you fly to Beijing, you have to test, you have to do 14 days in Beijing. Then you have to, and if you're traveling on, you have to do another 14 days. And then he said, possibly, if you go to another place, you have to do another 14 days. So some places you have to do 14 days, 10 to 14 days times three of quarantine. And they give you a full bracelet and check on you, and it's crazy. Yeah, exactly, right. Yeah, exactly. Last couple breaths here, you guys. Push back a little bit more. Very good. And then forward out of there. And then. <laughs> and then we'll move back to a pigeon, pigeon pose. So child's pose for a moment. And then we'll go to a pigeon. So you can step your um, right leg forward for Pigeon pose. Let's do this. I think I can do that. Probably as good. So we'll do pigeon for about a minute, minute and a half or so. Oh. Good, smooth, even breaths in and out of your nose. I will say, though, that was the first time I was tested. So for those of you that didn't hear, I tested for COVID on Saturday. So I went on Thursday because I'm going on this ski trip. And there's four guys coming from different homes. So we all said, all right, let's just test to make sure if you're negative, I mean, if you're positive, you can't go. So everybody's negative. So we go, uh, I mean, so we're going tomorrow, but um, the first test, the, the vial was cracked. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? The vial's cracked, it, you know? And they're like, oh, it should be fine. Just put it in. And of course, they needed a new sample. That was my result, need new sample. So then I went back again on Saturday and then tested negative. Um, but it's funny because you know, it's the first time in a year that I've been tested. Smart. I wouldn't say lucky. I'd be smart. Smart. <laughs> I, I prefer to call it smart. <laughs> no, but I mean, listen, the truth is I've gone to grocery stores. You know what I mean? I've, I've gone to pick up, take out food. I've, you know what I mean? I've, I've been here and there hasn't been anybody here, basically one or two. But, you know, it's. You know, it's, it's, I do feel lucky, actually, and, and uh, um, you know, but, but did what I was supposed to do for the most part, you know. But we went, and we went to Zion, right? So we, we, we like, traveled a little bit in Vegas. We went to Zion and Vegas, running around naked in casinos. I mean, no masks, you know. <laughs> Just kidding. <clears throat> uh, switch legs. 
But yeah, no, we did, we did pretty well as a family for the last year. So now we just keep, keep it up. That's all. Be smart out there, everybody. Other leg, a few, a minute and a half, it was about two minutes, so. But it did feel good. My point of the whole story really is that it just felt good knowing that you're negative, because there's always that like, oh, what if it comes back positive, you know what I mean? Right, exactly, and you're asymptomatic, yeah, exactly, right. Mm -hmm. Then what do you do? Then, then I have to like shut down all operations, quarantine myself. Lauren was like, what are you going to do if it's positive? I'm like, well, I guess I can't be around people, but obviously if I'm positive, that means the four of us are positive. Like the whole family's probably positive, right? So like, you know, yeah, exactly. We just, we don't do anything differently there, I guess. But I guess there's no knowing, right? Like, when did you become positive, right? If you're asymptomatic. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit freeing going, hey, hey. So for that, I knew somebody else was negative. I'm like, I can give you a hug. Yeah. You're negative. I'm negative. Yay, human interaction again, <laughs> you know? Good, last couple breaths on this side. <clears throat> and then come on up from there. Bring both legs forward, shake them out. We'll do a seated forward bend and then twist and shavasana. So shake your legs, flex the feet back, reach the arms up, fold. And then from here, roll back if you want. So if your neck is okay, your back is okay, then you can go into plow and shoulder stand. And if you want, you don't have to. It's optional. If you do, take the legs back and up, and then support the back. Take those legs vertical, a few breaths. And then legs wide, flex the feet. A few breaths. Bend the knees, soles of the feet together. Legs up and then legs down over the head slowly. Come on down. Take a final twist. Pull the right knee in. Give it a good squeeze. Roll to the left side and twist. Good. And then switch sides. Same thing, other side. Good, and then back to Shavasana, final rest. Go ahead and 
Set yourself up, close the eyes. Feet flop open, arms pop up. Take a nice deep breath. Totally relax. Start to shift gears a little bit from there. Just take a deep breath. Start to notice the hands and the feet again, the fingers and toes. Bring the left hand to the heart center, right hand to the belly. Pause for a moment. Bend the knees, soles of the feet. To, uh, bend the knees and <laughs> roll to the right side. <sighs> Good. And then make your way up to a seat, comfortable seat, sitting up nice and tall. Palms up, eyes closed, a couple of breaths. Just reconnecting mind, body, breath, spirit energy all together as one whole being here. Good. And then bring the palms together at the heart. Take a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for every breath. Namaste. Thank you both for showing up. <laughs> Thank you guys for showing up. Those of you streaming, these classes are done on a donation basis. So I'm, I'm starting to stream once a week to Facebook and uh, YouTube because now studio's back open. Plus we have a member, so you can always become a, a monthly member and not have to worry about that. But if you can, support our newly opened studio and our mission of keeping everybody healthy, that would be great. 
You can do that at fivepointyoga.com. There's a few ways you can do that. Thank you very much. See you next week if you're streaming. And then uh, members, not tomorrow or Thursday, but Wednesday for sure. But I'll send an email. All right.